Wow, your daughters will be very happy to have you as a father. They won't even go to any salon to make their hair. Okay, so what can you tell? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me from. Speaking with you this morning is Esther Efiang. And if you're just seeing me for the first time, you are highly welcome thank you for clicking today i really love you and i appreciate your time spent today i'm going to vlog on how i'm going to be washing my hair like as many that knows this i've been on this micro locks for i think some weeks now but i discovered that my hair is really dirty and i think it's based on the weather we are having the dry season now and the dust is really high and stops are really dirty so and aside from that i sweat a lot on my scalp which makes my scalp to be very dirty so presently my scalp is very dirty and today i'll be stepping out to go wash my hair and guess what i'll not be washing it today by myself today i'm going to step out into a salon did i say salon yes i said salon and this salon is not just done by a female like me it's actually a salon organized by a male and today i'm going to allow the male to touch my hair ah. yeah i'm going to show you how it's going to look like and if you are in calabar south please i would like you to come patronize this guy he's good he knows his job he can do it very well mm. i'm serious about it and Join me as we go to the salon together. Welcome to Pray Salon. Wow! This is a salon owned by a male. As you can see, a lot of hair stuffs. You can see people walking. You can see some persons walking there. I'm going to allow you to see who is actually the owner of the salon for today. Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. This is the place we've been talking about. You can see how busy it is. It's making. How do we call this hair? Ghana weaving. Ghana weaving. Chuku Ghana weaving. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, can you greet, can you greet my audience? Good day, people. Okay, he just said out this shout out to us now. So, Mr. Press, how are you feeling? Feeling good. You're feeling good. Wow, I can see you're really busy. Like, you're doing your work well. Really attracted you to this. I just like the work because it brings me money. Hey. Now from there, I eat. Wow. So they they. Dressing females hair is really lucrative. Yes, yeah. And it brings a lot of money. Yeah. So even as you're making this beautiful sister's hair, like, she's going to give you plenty of money. What? When did you really start dressing female hair? Since my childhood. Wow. That since when you're very young. Yeah. So what really motivated you? What really pushed you in starting this um, business? Okay, it was part of your passion. It's part of your passion to braid females' hair. Wow, your daughters will be very happy to have you as a father. They won't even go to any salon to make their hair. Okay, so what can you tell young people out there that are that are in search of a job? Properly, they they finish school like you did. And they don't have any white collar job. What what's your advice for them? My advice is that any work that you do my team that is your body, you should put your effort in many. Now from there problem is that they use it to feed themselves in the future. 
Okay, so they should put their mind in whatever that will profit them positively. Yeah. That, will, that will bring food to their table. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Using my hair from how it was before. So I'm ready to wash the hair. Okay, these are different containers of shampoo and conditioner used in washing. Uh, you can see the number of empty gallons of shampoo. A lot of oil, like a lot of sweat, a lot of oil on my hair. And that's why I'm here to wash it. I made the other myself. He's asking me who made my hair. Mm -hmm. And I told him I'm the one and he's surprised. Oh, he said my hair is very dirty. It's very, very dirty like that. Yeah, I think it's up to me. Months plus, I've not washed the hair. Couple with the build up of oil and sweat. You know, have you washed your hair like this before with an old hair on your head? How did you feel about it? Did it cut your hair? Because I'm scared. I don't know if this stuff will cut my hair. But I just pray it doesn't. Like washing my hair with an old hair. Please drop it in the comment section. Thank you. Hey, this was one of the difficult tasks ever. I've never put my head in this dryer before. This is my first time experiencing this. And at this point, I was like telling the girl, wow, is this how it's going to be like that it's now hot? So she was telling me, yes, that's how you're going to see it. And I'm like, are you for real? Look at my face. I'm like trying to comprehend how the heat is going to circulate through my head. <laughs> But at this point, I had no option. I just had to put my head there. Look at me. I thought I could bear the heat. I refused to cover my hair. I was told that this hair covering is very important. And it was very serious when my hair was almost roasted off. Ah, at this point, I could not bear it again. Hey, from my face, you can read it. I couldn't bear it again. I had no options. there. I was praying and wishing and shouting. The way I was begging them to come off the heater, they told me no, that that's how I'm going to sit till it's finished. Look at, I just ran out from the dryer. Ah, I cannot come and kill myself. I ran out. They told me the hair is not dry. I said, let it be like that. Hey, it is my head. I cannot come and kill myself. Can you imagine the hair they said is not dry? Let it be like that. After running out from the dryer, I just oiled my hair and this is Paris coming to style my hair because at this point, I didn't even know what to do with the hair again. I just needed to look good and I'm checking the style. Is it fitting on my face? Is it looking good? Will it be nice? So this is Paris styling my hair and we're just looking at the mirror. I will just imagine, look at the style he wants to do on me. Ah, is this style okay? Will it fit? Look at how he, he mats my hair. Very nice. It's very beautiful. So we're still looking for a style. Will it fit my hair? What will fit for my face? So we try banding it. And I was just looking at the mirror in front of me. And I'm like, please, what do I look like? <laughs> what do I really look like? At this point, he was just trying to make it flow up like that. I was like, hey, what do I look like? So please, my audience, tell me what did I look like at the, at this point with this kind of hairstyle on my head. But for the Martin, it's nice. It's beautiful. Look at his face. He's really serious with his job. Yes. Yeah, this is when he knew that I was still videoing. <laughs> then he started smiling with the camera. Ah, we just finished the styling. We just finished packing the hair. And look at how beautiful I am. Look at my hair. Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful I am. Can you compare? Can you compare? So please patronize praise praise bread hair i'm going to drop his number i'm going to drop his information you can reach out to him thank you for watching please subscribe share like comment and love you.